Here we are with this 1999 GS300. All the drive by wire with Bosch um, throttle body, Bork Warner Turbo. Uh, last I know is about 613 at the wheels. Some Boston 20 inch. Oh shit, what the fuck happened here? Oh damn. Yeah, about that. And here's the story. We'll be performing a HP swap into our Lexus GS300 and these are the components that we'll be using in the swap including the in-power developing uh, oil pan, 8AN oil cooler kit, OEM shifter, the HTC tuning TCU and entire kit by Domi Works. Included in the box are the following hardware. It's going to be the adapter plate, torque plate adapter, and then this is for the cross member, the mounting bolts. This is going to be for the oil cooler kit, the adapter. This is for the also for the uh, mounting the cross members, and then this is the bushings that goes on the the OEM bushings from BMW. Last but not least. This is going to be the adapter from the output shaft to the Guibo from the Aristo or the LS400. I also have the PCB kit from Domi Works to make the wiring process a lot easier. Basically you just solder these on once you remove the mechatronics from AHP. So this is pretty much what's included in this kit. There were additional hardware that were missing from the package, which are to mount the torque converter to the flex plate. Once I contacted Domi Works, they were sent to me in time to complete the install. So I want to discuss this kit one by one. Um, first, let's start the adapter kit. And this is for a uh, 1JZ to 2JZ DC, DCT to HP adapter. It's a multi-use adapter. It's got all the hose provisions for them already. So you pretty much just have to use the correct hole for the correct transmission that you're using to the 1JZ to 2JZ. So this is the adapter for, for the transmission to the engine. So then I reached out to Daniel and Domi Works and discussed about the Supra kit that they had. And it turns out that the kit uses a four bolt flange rather than the three bolt flange for the Risto. My car is a 1999 GS300 with a A50E transmission. However, I am using the Aristo drive shaft on my vehicle, so I would need the larger Guibo from the Aristo. And having talking to Daniel, he actually ordered a Guibo as well and had this machine specifically for it. It is pretty much a spot on fit. This is some incredible machining. Attaching this piece here, it's pretty much fits like a glove. So then this piece here will replace the one on the transmission. So then comes to the cross member kit. I was under the impression that the, the Supra cross member is going to be the same as the Lexus GS300. Turns out that it is not. The Supra um, cross member is actually straighter and the one on the GS300 actually has more of a curve to it. The, the Supra kit will not directly fit. So Daniel actually purchased a cross member and um, developed this cross member separately for the GS300 98 to 2004, 2005. Aristo and GS300 will work with this kit as well. 
Then the wiring solution. This is the Domi Works board for the GCU. Originally, I was going to use the pin kit to make a harness myself. However, when I purchased the transmission, I was able to get the OE harness. And I'm just going to repin this for using with the GCU. I'm going to be pinning this to this uh, harness here. So this is the neutral release that I found. It's actually for a like farm equipment or something like that. Basically, it's a cable release and it has a latch on it. If you slide it over, there's a little lock right here. And then if you need to release it, you just press the latch and it will just release the cable tension. On the AHP, there is a neutral release on the opposite side of the gearbox and just a little spring lever. If you need to put the vehicle into neutral, then you need to actually lift the lever somehow. There's a bolt action that you can actually thread and stuff like that, but then you have to get under the car. So the solution allowed me to put the vehicle in neutral. Okay, so then here we have the shifter kit. This is the OE shifter for 730D that actually came with it. The F01 2014 730D OE shifter. And this is the mount for it. Thanks to James. Here with this adapter piece allowed me to mount it much easier with just four bolts. Two in the front, two in the back for the shifter itself. So then next is going to be the cooler system. This is Domi Works adapter as well that goes on the opposite side for the oil cooler. This is a Dash 8 AN kit. This is the oil cooler I'll be using here. It's kind of small in size. I might go up a little bit larger, but for now at least it will get me going and let me know where i'm at with it at least i can see the uh, temperatures and stuff like that if i need to replace it in the future i can do that as well and i may be going to ptfe lines uh once i finish mocking up with these so next we have the Empower Developing Oil Pan. This is actually cast aluminum. And to be honest, for cast aluminum, this is some awesome work. I mean, you can't, you would think this is billet or CNC based on the ribbing and stuff like that that's on here. But this is definitely not um, CNC work. This was actually cast pressed into these shapings and stuff like that. It's definitely very awesome work done by a manufacturer here in Taiwan. With this kit, there's gonna be oil filter provision on here. And the ceilings are also replaceable. The seals on the side right here. So also the bolts that is hard to replace when you do a pan swap. It's also included in the kit. So pretty much it's plug and play. And this is the filter right here. The filter is removable, so it can be replaced. That's pretty much it. And we'll be going over the entire process of this build on our GS300, sharing our experience. We'll be using the AE Infinity, and we're gonna try to pair it with GCU and see how that goes. So this will be concluding our video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks.